Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and they've got a bunch of cool stuff. If you've never been there, you got to go check it out. One of the cool things they have is a cutaway of a 1953 Corvette. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Like I said in the intro, the Corvette Museum is cool, even if you're not all that into Corvettes, if you're just into cars and the history of them. They have a very cool way of making it interesting and making it interactive and making it something you want to see and before everybody loses their mind about this being chassis number three well chassis number three let me tell you chassis number three rolled out probably rolled out of the flint michigan plant on july 1st 1953 and it went over for cold weather stress test and while it was performing those duties as a test mule they had uh, an issue where they had to separate the body and the chassis because of uh, metal fatigue. It didn't resurface, the chassis didn't resurface again, minus motor, body, anything else, just the chassis until 1983. And then in, 19, or in 2012, it came up for sale and it was sold for this purpose. So there again, this is what's cool. It, you know, the, the sinkhole, this, it seems like any kind of catastrophe or anything that would be lost to history, they. They, they may not be able to reproduce it 100%, but they can use it in a cool way. And I can't imagine a better way to use uh, chassis number three than to make a cutaway car out of it. And I'm talking about perfect cutaway car. I mean, look, it's dead down the center. And when you look at this car compared to what the new cars are, it is so simple. You know, the wiring and uh, just everything, the chassis and the way things worked. And Harley Earl. Got the idea in 1951 while pacing a race in a Buick LeSabre. And he saw a bunch of young kids, American kids, driving European two-seater sports cars. And he came back to GM and said, we need to get to work on that. And so the 53 Corvette is unique and it's the only solid axle car because in 53 they were using parts from other cars. Nothing was dedicated for the Corvette yet, including the chassis. They actually brought in... Um, Maurice Ali, or Maurice Ali, worked there as a designer, and he was a designer for Rolls Royce, and he had uh, they had him design the chassis, and they wanted low slung, and it was the first time they had run a drive shaft up in a frame to get it that low. So the the Corvette was was it was on it in '53, and I don't think they've ever got off the gas pedal. They've always they've always stayed America's one of America's true sports cars. And with the C8 going mid-engine, you like it, you don't like it, it really doesn't matter. You know, they're cool cars and they're selling the heck out of them. So, what can you say? But I thought y'all would want to see this. This is like when you come in the front door and it's just mind-blowing to have one cut in half and then to figure out it was chassis number three and then have to dig. And look how simple the wiring is. It's just not nothing. You pull the dash out of a 2021 and see what you got in there. But anyways, I thought y'all would want to see it. It was cool. And again, you get a chance. Get to the Corvette Museum. Even if, you know, even if you're not that big of a Corvette freak. It's still cool to see. So there you go from the National Corvette Museum, Bowling Green, Kentucky. The 1953 chassis number three cutaway car. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.